guys! So, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I have been in the mood for making a anti-Valentine's Day look. So this is more of a rebel look, not that goody-goody look. This is just, yeah, for single girls. We are anti-Valentine's Day, we don't have a boyfriend. So let's just kick out the darker colors and sport maybe, yeah, the pale skin that winter is giving us. It's giving us and yeah, oh, sport and big liners and false lashes and everything just uh, not natural look just a yeah drama look a glam look and i love this look so much so freaking much oh, that highlighter is so on fleek anyway if you want to see how i do this rebel anti valentine's day look then keep on watching let's let's get started i'm taking my nyx hd studio for jet primer There. Nice and transparent. I'm just putting this on my cheeks and my forehead. Because I found something against the oiliness for my nose because I get so oily there by the end of the day. A little shrink I've learned from another beauty YouTuber, Nikki Nikia Joy, if you know her. Otherwise I'm gonna just link her right here. So you can check her out. She's actually quite good. If you have oily skin, then she has some great videos for that. Now I'm taking my eye primer, my NYX HD, yeah, uh, eyeshadow base, and then I'm just applying that to my nose, great amount. And then I'm also going to apply it to my eye bags, and then the concealer will stick right, and then I can also at the same time just apply it to my eyelids. Well, let's just blend that out. I'm just using my fingers for that. And then smoothing it out. I found that this trick works so good. It works so good. It works for hours and hours. I'm taking my concealer, the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in Porcelain. It's the lightest one of them. And I'm just going to go down, down, down. Like that. And then the nose, and then going up where I usually would conceal. Let's say I'm taking my foundation brush by PS Cosmetics. And then I'm just going to blend this out. Wham! Look at that. It's going over. Wave those blue purple dark circles like that. Foundation I'm taking my next stay matte foundation in ivory. I am really starting to like this. I'm not taking so much because it is very full coverage and yeah, if I take too much, then I'm like, what am I supposed to do with the rest of it? Let's make a few dots here and there. I'm using my buffing brush. This is such a great match for my pale skin. Now, I'm not applying anything on my on lower lid at all. I'm going to apply my, my uh, conceal there. Just a little trick. I also learned. Make it a joy. So extra foundation there where I have my pimple that I have popped. Maybe I should use a bit more of my forehead now. I have a big forehead. <laughs> you know what they say about big foreheads with girls? Big intelligence. my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and my Ace Cosmetics um, Conceal Brush and I'm taking this peachy tone. I did use a yellow toned concealer there so I'm just going to apply a bit of a peachy tone here. Setting the under eye. Wham. 
my NYX HD finishing powder and my Melted NYX powder brush and just setting the rest of my face. I'm just going to do my brows and my right side of my face, the right side of my face off camera and then I will be back. Alright guys, let's move on to the eyes. I'm just going to take a piece of tape because I want a very sharp line and I don't want any, and I, yeah, I just want it to look sharp. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape, I just put it on my hand so I don't want to have so much stickiness in there. And for this look, I'll be using my Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette. This is very a very budget friendly video. So I'm taking my BS Cosmetics crease brush and I'm taking this brownie color, sort of a light taupe color. I'm applying that to my crease. The reason why I wanted to make an anti-Valentine's Day look is because, well, one obvious reason I, I don't have a boyfriend, and some single girls, well, let us single girls be a bit more edgy. So let's be a rebel. I'm not having such a goody goody makeup on and just go dark. I'm taking my flat eyeshadow brush by Jillian Jones and I'm taking this glittery blue color but it's actually on the eyes it's more of a black blue color. Actually quite stunning. It's the first time I'm using that shadow. As you can see it's more it has a very black hint hue to it. I'm not going all the way into the inner corner. I'm just staying right here because at the end of right here I would I am going to apply some more of a light because even though it's a dark look I do want a little bit of light like we have the goodness uh, that yeah sweet girl but then we go to the rebel the rock and roll girl I can be sweet but I can certainly be bad if you want me to Taking my BS Cosmetics blending brush and just blending, 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 blending. The Maybelline shadows are very easy to blend once you get to know them. <laughs> I'm taking another eyeshadow brush and I'm taking the white in the palette in the top row. And I'm applying that right here at the inner corner, making sure that it's sort of mixed with that blue black shadow. It's very nice having that light and going to darkness. The dark side of the balls. <laughs> I'm taking the black blue from before. And then the white. We want that. We want a great transition here. And then the blending brush. I'm taking my angled eyeshadow brush by Jillian Jones and I'm taking the brown right there, right there. Instead of taking the black, which we already have, and I'm taking a brown to make it more warm. I'm just going up and then I'm going into the crease. I'm actually going very far in with it. And I'm just going to blend out here a bit. And then I'm taking my blending brush, smoothing it out, smooth, 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 smooth. And then with an angled brush by G uh, BS Cosmetics, I'm taking this creamy color. I'm just going to clean up on the brow bone here. I'll highlight right there. There we go. I'm just going to put on my eyeliner. I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black and I'm applying to my top lash line and winging it out, just following the tape that I have here and then I'm just going to take it off. There the liner is on, so sharp. I'm taking my accent brush by Real Techniques and I'm taking the brown again. Just going to apply that to my lower lash line. 
like that, but I'm also extending it out below the wing. Like that. Keep the darkness. Now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cars Cheese and I'm going to apply that to, that to my inner corner for a highlight. Whoa. I just fixed what I made a little mistake in that. That's okay. Now I'm just going to zoom you out. Now I'm going to apply my eyeliner on my inner rims and this is the NYX uh, Slide On Eyeliner in Jet Black. And I'm applying that to my inner rims, upper and lower, and then I'm curling my lashes, obviously, and applying my NYX Badunga Dunk mascara. And then, optional, applying a pair of uh, lashes. These are a pair of half lashes, corner lashes, and these are, these are by Depend Cosmetics in Naomi. I really like corner lashes. It's not uncomfortable for my eyes, even though I have very sensitive eyes. These I can't feel, luckily. So yeah, I'll be right back. There. The lashes are on and they are just gorgeous. Now I am going moving on to the rest of the face. I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and my Big Fan Brush by Jillian Jones. I'm taking this contour shape, just loading the brush up a bit. And then applying it. Double chin, and then apply the note. I'm a little bit. And I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Hot Spice and my Real Techniques Blush Brush. I'm taking this blush right here. You can call it just yeah, warm, rosy tone. I'm applying that to the cheek because it's a bit. Yeah, our looks are a bit cold, so we have to apply a bit of warmth into the face. Then I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Highlight Palette in Highlighter Light. This is oh, everything. I'm taking my Small Fan Brush by Jillian Jones, and I'm taking this highlighter. And I'm applying that. Ah, oh, look at that. Let's go all out. We're being a rebel. We're anti Valentine's Day now, so we're just going all out with highlighter. And then with my finger, I'm applying that to my tip of the nose. Whatever it's left on the Bridge. It's just like, mm. yes, mama. And then for lips, I decided with a dark. I decided on a dark lip color. And this is one of my gosh lipsticks, and this is in Night Kiss. Oh, yes, let's put this on. I'm taking a lip brush by Jillian Jones, just smoothing it out. There, and then the finishing touch, my vitamin E face mist, hydrating face mist by the body shop. Let's put this on. And now we've finished a rebel anti-Valentine's Day look. Oh my god, I love it. Especially love that transition from light to darkness. It's so gorgeous and this lip just ties all together. And yeah, it's very I think it's good that I picked a warm tone blush. It just yeah, does some things and then it just enhances that paleness of my own skin. It's so stunning. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm gonna stare at this all day. Well, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. So remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video if you like it. It really helps me a lot. And then remember to click on that bell next to my name um, with the subscribe because then you get notified when I post my videos. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on my blog. And then I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.